Charles, obviously the, uh, the first title defense, I got to wonder what it feels like to be on this side of it after chasing the belt for so long. É, o Charles, a primeira defesa de título, e ele pergunta como você se sente depois de estar tá do outro lado da moeda, agora ser quem está defendendo, como é que você se sente? Estou muito feliz, essa é real, mais importante estar feliz, né? a gente sabe do, do quanto é importante essa defesa de título, mas o mais importante é trazer alegria e felicidade de novo, como eu sempre trouxe, trouxe, trouxe em todas as minhas lutas. Uh, very happy. Uh, happy with, the, with what happened, and uh, we, we, we understand how important it is to defend a title. But just bring that happiness into, in, into the octagon and just uh, continue on my path. Uh, I'm curious what you think about Dustin as an opponent. We know about like his heart, his will, but when you really break down the skills, where do you think he compares to you? Estou curioso para saber o que você acha do Dustin. Todos nós sabemos da, do coração dele, da vontade dele, mas em termos de habilidades, o que, que você uh, tem para dizer sobre isso? Deixa um cara duríssimo. Tem um boxe alinhado, tem um wrestling bom. É um cara que gosta de levar as lutas para os cinco rounds. É um cara respeitoso, vende a luta como eu. Mas a realidade, como eu falei, eu não estou preocupado com aquilo que o Dustin quer trazer, mas sim com aquilo que eu posso, com certeza, ver muito bom. Um, one thing at a time, and focused on the moment, and I think that, you know, after this fight with the support, he's a tough guy, we're going to take care of him, but um, after that, then we're going to sit down and see a, and align what opponents should be, uh, should we be facing, but I'm a guy who likes to fight, and I don't mind looking three, four times a year, so that's, uh, I like to fight, man. There's so many variables um, when you're talking about dangers in, in mixed martial arts. He's just, he's as dangerous as any of the other top guys I've fought, just in different areas. You know, his, his submission game, numbers don't lie. He's one of the most dangerous, the danger, most dangerous ever to hit the canvas in the UFC. And we, we, we didn't put that aside in training camp. You know, we really focused on defense and uh, a fight IQ on the ground and where I'm at in the rounds and risks we need to take. So, you know, he's very dangerous. Last thing for me, I mean, I guess it's this moment to enjoy it first, right? But what is your plan as champion, right? I mean, you've done everything. You fought everybody. Like, do you see, like, I'm going to win and have this long reign? Or is it like, man, I'm going to get there and maybe that's about it for me? You know what I mean? What's, what's the plan? I'm, I'm not sure. I haven't really looked that far. You know, I have to perform Saturday night and, and get that belt. And then we'll, see, we'll take it from there. But sitting here thinking about it, you know, I'll, probably defend the belt. I, I do believe one day I'm going to fight at 170 pounds in the UFC. I'm not sure if I'm going to make a title run, a career run, and, you know, but I, I'm 32. I'll be 33 next month. I still feel good. I'm injury free. 
Uh, I feel healthy, so I, I can continue to do this as long as my body allows me, and I, and I feel good. But the goal is just to, to put that world champion next to my name and cement that in history. That's, that's all I'm really focused on.